Hey guys, Mr. Wing here, and um, I've got some pretty fucking good news. We've reached 200 subscribers. 200 people have subscribed to this channel. Like, phew, my mind is blown right now. And I know I've been on a break. Um, I announced it on my Discord server, but if you're not in there, I did take a little bit of a break for some self-improvement. So um, I'm back, and I'm going to explain that in the next video. But for now, let's fucking celebrate. So to celebrate 200 glorious people subscribing to this channel, obviously my best friends now, Um, we are going to be making a, wait for it, Q&A video. So what I did is I made an announcement on Discord and Twitter asking people to leave some questions, and this is what they left me. Also, before we start, I would like to apologize for any background noise because there's a bunch of crickets outside my window, and I've tried my hardest to uh, try and get that as low as I can, but nothing's working. So anyway, let's just get right into it, shall we? So our first question is made by Kelly Tubby, and he says, are we there yet? And you know what? No, no, we're not there yet. So anyway, on to the next question. I'm just going to rapid fire these. Is my grandpa Chinese? Johnny asks. And to answer that truthfully, no, he's not Chinese. My uh, grandpa is actually, he's Viet Cong. He's from Vietnam. Quick little disclaimer, um, my grandpa was actually in the Viet Cong. Fun fact. So uh, please don't shoot me. Now we've actually got a pretty good question here by Kitty that reads, what do you plan on doing with your channel in the future? And what type of content are you planning to expand to? And quite a lot of people have asked this, um, what are you planning to do with your channel in the future type question. So I am gonna just put them up anyway. To answer that question, at the moment, this whole YouTube thing is kind of just like a hobby at the moment. Um, I do wanna maybe take this a bit more seriously if it does end up going somewhere. But at the moment, it is just for fun. And I do enjoy making videos and you know interacting with the people in my Discord server. Now as for what type of content I'm planning to expand to. I was thinking about, you know, gameplay comedy or something like that. Maybe even some type of journalism because that's kind of basically what I'm doing anyway with the whole commentary thing. But I would also really like to get into the whole memeing type content, you know, kind of like what Call Me Carson does. I honestly think that would be pretty fun to make. Anyway, here we have another question by Belle Delphine and they ask, what is your plan for the future as a YouTuber? When are you coming out with merch? When are you making an upload schedule? What snack is bae? What's your favorite anime? Favorite song? Best friend? Social security number? Favorite video game? All right, so I already answered question number one, so I'll just go straight to the second one. Now merch, I've already been asked this by someone else and um, I don't think I'm big enough for merch. I've literally only have 200 subscribers, but um, maybe a thousand subscribers? I don't really know, like really. Maybe I'll just come up with like a sticker or something. I don't know. Now onto question number three. When are you making an upload schedule? Look, at this rate, I've been working on this video for a week now and I've only done two minutes and 30 seconds. So probably not for a long time. Now onto number four, what snack is bae? And well, for that one, I'd have to say a nice cup of Milo. Like you just can't beat it. Now onto number five, what's your favorite anime? Easy, Naruto. It's the story of an underdog. What's not to love? Now onto number six, favorite song. Changes by Tupac. That is easily one of my most favorite songs of all time. Number seven, my best friend. Now my best friends, Josh, Jared, and Cameron. Easy. Yeah, nah, we don't have social security numbers, so I'll just go to favorite video game. And that would go to Metal Gear Solid. Whew, all right, okay, now that's all done. We can go to the next questions. And the next question is, by Conqueror, what's the one thing in life you hate the most? And that would be bullies. I absolutely hate bullies, you know, I used to get bullied as a kid. And I've seen other people get bullied, and I know where it can lead to. So yeah, bullies are the one thing I hate most in life. Anyway, to the next question. This one's by Daddy Star, and he says, are people and the media in this generation more sensitive than the those previous or is it just a growing amount of people who can speak their mind and well to be honest it's both like back in the day we had so many problems you know your fucking firstborn dying famine wars but now we live in a relatively peaceful time so there's really nothing to complain about half the time so our brains create these problems and yes there are actual problems in today's society i'm not trying to take away from that but you know with the invention of the internet it has given a lot more people a platform to voice their concerns and that's not necessarily a bad thing that's actually really good Alrighty, now on to the next question now conqueror and fuji both ask what is the meaning of life? And alrighty guys, not to uh, blow your mind or anything, but the meaning of life is 42, right? Times that by 10, and what do you get? 420. That's it, guys. 420 is the meaning of life. Alrighty, now on to the next question. This question was left by the one and only Scooby side, and he asks, will you be starting an OnlyFans account sometime this year? No homo, of course. Bro, what do you mean no homo? I've got socks on, it's okay. But anyway, about the question. I will not be starting an OnlyFans account until iDub starts an OnlyFans account, and that's final. Alrighty, now on to the next question. Once again, we have a question here by 
Benzo Apuga and he says, are you going to roast iDubbbz for revealing his true colors? And you want? No. I really feel like iDubbbz didn't really do anything. He just made a really shitty response video and that was it. Now, many other YouTubers have already explained why he hasn't done anything wrong because everything he's said in the past has just been a joke. And a lot of people bring up that he was bullying a 15 year old and that he was roasting Leafy for the exact same thing, which makes him a hypocrite. But bullying is something that occurs more than once and this was just a one off. And to be honest, it was probably a really bad attempt at a joke. Like the man obviously got really emotional. But you know, anyway, that's just my opinion on the whole situation. So how about we just answer some more questions? So here's the next question by Ducky who says, who would you consider to be the most influential person in your life? And to that I say, probably my cousin and my mates. You guys know who you are. Anyway, I've said this plenty of times, but next question. And this is where things get spicy. And Milk asks, in quantum mechanics, time is the classical background parameter and the flow of time is universal and absolute. In general relativity, time is one component of four dimensional space time. And the flow of time changes depending on the curvature of space time and the space time trajectory of the observer. How can these two concepts of time be reconciled? And you know what? That's a pretty easy question to answer. Alrighty, so the first step is to take the word quantum mechanics and dissect it. Now we have 16 letters. The word time has four letters. So what we do is multiply 16 by four and we get 64. Now we know in Minecraft, the most blocks you can have in a single inventory slot is 64. So from that, we know we're heading in the right direction. Now the words curvature of space time has 20 letters. So what we do is we multiply our 64 by 20. This will leave us with 1,280. Now what we do with the 1,280 is divide it by time, which means to divide by four to make 320. But that's not all. We take relativity and reconcile, which both have 10 letters in them. We then multiply them together, creating 100. Now with this 100, we add it to the 320 we had before. Therefore, 420 is once again the answer. Jeez, man, just give me a hard question next time. All right, now Hanako-san asks, why are you so cool? And you know what? No, you. You're always drawing really cool art of me and I fucking love it. Thank you so much. If you want to see their art, I'm going to leave a link to their Instagram in the description below because honestly, their art is amazing. Amazing. So definitely go check them out. And the next question is by Star Wars that says, what made you want to become a YouTuber? What's your goal for the future of your channel? Well, when I was younger, I would used to watch Nigahiga and Smosh when YouTube first became a thing. And ever since then, I've kind of always wanted to do YouTube. And you know what? This isn't even my first attempt. I have at least five other channels, which is just dead, you know? And as I said before, this whole YouTube thing is just a hobby. But if it does go somewhere, I would like to take it a bit more seriously eventually. Now, our next question is by Mr. Bean. And they ask, what's your favorite color and why? Well, surprisingly, my favorite color isn't orange. It's actually red. And you know what? I don't actually know why. It's just a cool color. Now, to the important questions. Alpha asks, how big is your cock? And well, let's just go to the next question. Seaway asks, is two inches enough? Asking for a friend. Psh, yeah, obviously. And thanks for asking for me, Seaways. Our next question is left by Aurora and he says, thoughts on Lumi. And you know what? Lumi has done a ton of bad shit. That's, no one can deny that. And I just honestly think she needs some professional help. Like she's still fairly young. It shouldn't be too late. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying she hasn't done any bad things. She's done a lot of terrible things and I'm not even making excuses for her. I'm just saying that she might be able to improve if, you know, she got some professional help. But yeah, you know, that's just my thoughts. Here we have another question by Alpha. They ask, which is a better country, the UK, Ireland, New Zealand, Canada, or the US? And you know what? I'm just going to go based on where I would prefer to live. And in that regard, New Zealand. And it was a close one between New Zealand and Canada, but Canada has tip culture and well, I just think tip culture is stupid. Like, why should the customer pay the employee? The employer should pay the employee because they're basically what keeps their business running. And as a tie-in question, because this is right underneath that other question, Alpha asks, Wang, who drinks the most booze? Easily Ireland. There is literally no other competition besides Australia. And maybe Russia. But here we have another question by exclamation point oak milk. And they ask, what's the worst thing you've seen? And I gotta say someone's dead body after a car accident where their head is gouged open. So bad where you can actually see the brain. And I'm just gonna say this, it was pretty fucking terrifying. Anyway, here we have another question by KHGRL and they ask, are you a simp? And I'm gonna have to say no, but I do know a few. Here we have a question by Kelly Tubby and they ask, how come no matter what color the liquid is, the froth is always white? That's actually a really good question, Kelly Tubby. The reason why the froth is white is because the liquid is actually having a seizure. Now, not many scientists know this and I'm probably the first one to actually find this out. But the reason why the liquid is having a seizure is because they've had too many fucking pingers, all right? They've had a big fucking night. They wanna do is have to fucking lay down, but nope, they're having a seizure instead. Alrighty, now for the last question. 
question. This question is by Rose and they ask, what do you plan on doing when 1,000 subs? And well, if I reach 1,000 subs, I'm gonna throw a party. That's it. But no, I think when I reach 1,000 subs, I might take it a lot more seriously. Um, But you know, I, I don't know. Anyway, guys, that was the Q&A and I'd like to thank you guys for 200 subscribers. You guys are honestly awesome and you're my best friends already. I'm sorry this video took a while as well. I um had some audio issues. If you haven't realized, um, the audio did change halfway through the video. And you know, at the beginning of the video, I said that I was back. So expect some more videos. I've actually got quite a few video projects I have coming up. So keep an eye out for that. Anyway, I'm going to end the video right here. Peace in the Middle East. Remember to keep that fucking positivity up. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.